guys knowledge slam today we are going to see about button build box and text okay now let's create a little box okay i've created a label button and text caption i'm going to talk about caption now the property called caption Caption is used to edit the text in the label box and also to edit the text in the command box. But caption does not this cannot be edited during the runtime. Okay, for example, now I'm typing one. Now I'm going to type here also as one. But for text, it doesn't have caption. It has and property called text where I can edit the text the design window but when we run you cannot edit one but we can edit the text box you can type anything we want but it doesn't save in the text see for example if I type in the runtime as knowledge let's stop cannot find I click um, text box I cannot find any knowledge or something if only we connect to the database we can add it but during the runtime it doesn't save it okay now we cannot edit label or command box during the runtime but you can edit the text box during the runtime so the input and output that we get can be stored in the text box so we can use text box mainly for input and label box is used just to display the text for example I'm going to show you an option type here okay I've given an option called type here and now we are going to change the color of the label box to change the color we have to click back color And to change the font, I mean to change the font of the label box, I have to go down. I can see the option called font. And I'm going to give it as Times New Roman 16, perhaps. Okay, now type here. But if you don't want this color background, you can use, you can change from back style, from a pack to transparent. Now you cannot see the background okay and if you want to change the color of the text go down and you can change the fog color okay if you want to change the background of the form same concept go to back color and you can use white okay now you're going to use black i'll talk about form in detail in the future now we have typed here and uh, now it's a text box we are going to clear the text in text box okay, I'm going to clear the text box so in runtime you can enter the text what's and what are your text you want you can type okay and the one works and I click this an action here, but we have to type the coding in order to work the text. Okay. Now I've used just double click the form one to show the text. Okay, now we have this command box, and we can type here as click to display. Now when we click this button. The test has to be displayed in a message box. That's what we are going to do today. And we'll change the form one properties. We have also a caption here. Just edit it into text show. Okay, and now we are going to type the code. Now we want to display in a message box, right? So we have to type message box. 
and now we are going to use double quotes these double quotes are used to enter the text in it like the text box contains now when I click this it shows a message box that the text box contains okay you can use control tab to switch between design view and coding window okay now whatever the text I'm going to type here should display in the message box so I'm going to use okay now we'll just change the color of the button change it into any color you want like here I'm going to use uh, yellow but you can see the color doesn't change when I click back color for this you have to change the style of it to graphical now you can see the color has been changed and you can change the font color also mm, okay now the font okay so the coding message box whatever you type message box is a keyword and whatever we type in this double quotes it displays on the screen like one two three and I click the button shows one two three so now I'm going to type the text box contains so we want the text of the text box to display in the message box so I'm going to use address operator shift 7 will give you an address operator or voice calls and this option is used to address a file or address a text that means giving a link like stuff so we are going to type as text1 this is the text1 box or we'll just rename the name of it into message so you have to type message now message and this message box name is message now you can see it here so the text in this message should be displayed here so what I am going to type is displayed in the property called text right so message dot text that's it now when we play it I'm going to type anything here for example black the text contains black just leave a space here one two three the text box contain one three so this is a basic concept now I think you can understand the use of label text box and command button command button is based on the process command one dot click so it's based on click so when I click it it gives a process it gives the process of this coding message box there are a lot of stuff in message box that I'll explain in later videos I'll see you in the next tutorial Thank you guys for watching, hit like and subscribe.